Marsha Ensley and Lou Zimmerman walked into my office about three, four weeks ago, uh -huh. yeah. and I thought they were tourists because they were so <laughs> relaxed and having oh. such a good time. And we started chatting and realized that they were coming in as a new business. And what is your business? And we started chatting about it, and I'm going to let them tell you about it, but um, they have fascinating backgrounds as well, and how they came to this, we'll get to at the very end of it, but they are really interesting people. And I am so excited. I've already sent two or three people to them because they have such a unique business called Top Yacht Fishing Charters. Right. I love it. They were so. telling me about it before the show. And I'll tell you, it's it's very inviting. And you can actually see the picture of this amazing vessel. I know. So tell us all about it. And you're just like brand new. You just were telling me that you, you started it June. You became a member, started your business June 1st. Right. And, and we appreciate the opportunity to be a part of the chamber and, and something like this. Like you said, you reached out to us immediately with... Um, some folks that were interested, so we because appreciate you have that. such a unique business. Plus, mm -hmm. it's exciting, and I want I really try to bring a, a lot of energy to this. This, this you do, you so. absolutely do. Anyway, talk about we started thinking about this about three years ago. Um, I'm retired from the corporate world. Lou is an airline pilot, but we wanted to start a business that would take us through retirement, and we wanted to do something fun. So we. We're talking about it one day on the patio. Yeah, and that's kind of where it all began. Like, it's, we've, this has been in the making for probably even a little more over three years now. And okay. um, it all started a poolside <laughs> at the house. So we were How sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Around the water. So we were sitting there and we're, you know, we're both boaters. We love the boat. We love salt water. We're, all of us have fished. And, um, I'm a longtime fisherman as well, and so it kind of worked itself into, let's do a charter. And uh, that's kind of where it started, and then, then we had to go further. So our plan was not to be kind of, uh, how would you put this, the same as every other charter up and down the West Coast. We wanted to do something unique. Okay. And so we started our business plan, and what, once the business plan started, what we ended up with is let's do something that nobody else, or not nobody else, but is not done every day on the West Coast. We want to do an all-inclusive all charter that basically you show up and that's all you need to bring is yourself. Some sun can oil, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> and clothes. And I, clothes. Right. I love the sounds of that, so they don't have to really plan it. You've already done it for them. Yes. Right. For example, on our all-day fishing charters, um, when you show up, the coffee's on, breakfast is there, we serve mm -hmm. you lunch, the water, the soda, the beer, uh, the bait, everything is there. And oh, it's no really care. more of an experience than just a charter. Mm -hmm. uh, within 24 hours of booking, all of our clients get a phone call where we learn more about the guests, if there's any special Ooh. dietary needs, if there's any... How we've had some people reach out... I, I, that's what I'm thinking. Very ...who possible. are older and a little bit concerned about getting on and off the boat, so we assure them that, you know, we can make that happen. That's so exciting. Now, yeah. we were talking before the show, too, about the safety factor. Mm -hmm. and. The fact that you actually have someone that is certified on, right? Yes. Through the, with the Coast Guard. Yes, our son is a U.S. Coast Guard certified yes. captain. And uh, he's got his... Um, Six-pack license. And yeah. basically to get that, you need 360 days experience on the water. That's a bunch. You have to be CPR certified, first aid certified. Yeah. They go through a drug test. Uh, a schooling where they learn the navigation, that kind of thing. So very nice. And when very you go nice. on the website, he looks like a, a captain. <laughs> <laughs> He's in yeah. control. He's yeah. empowered. Right. right. Good. So we spent a lot of time putting this together, and, yeah. and then the search for the boat began. You know, oh. that was the first section of it. Is kind of coming up with a business plan, going through all the details, and then the search started. And the search started two years ago, a little over two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. The search started, and we, we went all over the United States looking for the right boat. And since I'm an airline pilot, I could fly for free, so I would fly into these cities, oh, sweet. Oh, nice. drive to the boat, you know, mm -hmm. and check things out. And, and, of course, not many of them were worth going back and looking at again <laughs> until we found this one. And um, But the boat is really what, again, makes it different. Yes. We have three staterooms, three bathrooms or heads. That's uh, a large boat. Yeah. Yeah, it a is. A kitchen. 
So one of the markets that we were even looking at was the corporate market, especially now with the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. Corporations can't entertain guests like they used to, wine and dine them in a restaurant. So this is perfect, um, being able to invite them on the boat. They Look can, at those yeah, cabins. There you go. Mm -mm, um, there's a great at. seating room inside where you can do a little business on the way out and the way back in. Yes, look at those cabins and the fact that you could even, t you could take um, two couples for a weekend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Easily, or three couples right. for a weekend. Mm -hmm. And um, have an experience. And if somebody wanted to fish, that's great. If they didn't want to fish and they just wanted to hop from place to place, that's the kind of thing they could do as right. well, correct? Right. Yes. And, and that's what makes us a little unique is we are a custom charter. So we don't just specialize in half a day and full days. We'll do overnights, we'll do custom uh, family events, uh, anything that basically will fit on into the profile of going out on a boat, we'll, we can do it. And we will customize it to their liking, you know, how, however they want, you know, want it. So. What's the size of this boat? 57 foot. Wow. That's big. I mean, That's it's so big and roomy. I, yeah. yeah, I'm just looking at all of these. I pulled this off of the, what you sent me, and I was just in awe. Three staterooms, three bathrooms, a full kitchen, air-conditioned salon. And, you know, when we are out there, and it's like, oh, mm -hmm. hot, hot, mm -hmm. hot, and you mm -hmm. have to sort of get back in. Um, but you can go in. And even in the wintertime, then you've oh, got yeah. the, the, the warmth to come back right. into as well. Right. This could be really, I mean, a 365 day almost. Right. I, I'm um, guessing that event. too. Yeah, absolutely. And you, I mean, you could be in a better place. I mean, Tarpon is, it's the place to be. It oh. truly is. And we do get a lot of people coming in for fishing and, oh, and all of that. Yes. How did you choose Tarpon? Well, um, we had a boat, a uh, 56 foot Sea Race sedan bridge several years ago. Um, and that's where we kept it, same marina. Um, it was my late husband and I, and our family used to take it to the Bahamas and all over, and we really fell in love with Anclote Isles Marina. It's kind of quaint, there's great parking, it's easy for our guests to find, so we decided to go back there. It, it and we love the sponge docks and the quaint yeah. little town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're going to so. be very successful there. Oh, thank you. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's something completely different because I we know. have the, the head boat that goes out and does fishing for half a day or a mm -hmm. full day. We've got the tours that go out. Mm -hmm. We have a sailboat that goes out for half and full days or a weekend. But that's a completely different experience. Mm -hmm. And this is, when you walked in and told me about this, I went, oh, this is so unique. This is going to do really, really well. Now, how did your son, how did your son end up joining the business? Well, he has always loved boating, and like I said, growing up, we had a big boat and uh, had the awesome opportunity to go to the Bahamas and all over. So he never really got it out of his blood, and um, he's in his mid twenties. So when we were talking one night, it really piqued his interest, and he said, "Let me go to captain school." Oh. And uh, yeah, so it was really born out of our discussion that he mm -hmm. decided to go and get certified. That's really exciting. Yeah. And you know, to get um, somebody at that age, um, particularly in these days and times when kids get wander, especially wanderlust having been so traveled, mm -hmm. um, but he wanted to join the family business and, mm -hmm. and put down roots with you all. That is really mm -hmm. very special. And I think this is your passion because you've had boating right. experience for over 30 years. Yes. Right. So yeah, it's, in, it's the passion. It is. And we both kind of have a flair for hospitality. Yep. So like I said, bringing it to this whole upscale experience is is fun for us planning the menus planning you know it's kind of fun to do. play steward yeah because we yeah. can basically you know talk to the people and make sure they have what they need and a good example of that is uh, we took a group of people out with some young kids the other day well it's been probably about two or three weeks ago okay and the, the kid caught his first fish and oh, he oh. Just, <laughs> it was it was magical, you know. Pictures and, galore. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. It kind of reminds us yeah. of bed and breakfast experiences we have, where okay. you really get to know the owners. Yes, yep. you yes. Know, and you sit down with them and have breakfast, and so that's what we hope to do: is really get um, people to come back. You know, yeah. we're not 
Mm -hmm. Just looking for a one-time experience. We want to really wow them so yeah. that next year when they're here, they come back. Develop yes. the relationship yeah. with them. And, you know, one of the things that's going through my head is I'm thinking of different people, people that live here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And if they have um, grandkids that come to visit or mm -hmm. they have um, a special occasion. Right. What a special occasion. We have. Can you imagine mm -hmm. having someone propose <laughs> marriage on the... On that thing? On a oh, sunset we've cruise. We talked about oh, doing celebration oh, of yes. life and ash scattering for yes. folks who want like oh, to go out. That's and you know, so cool. That's the thing with mm -hmm. these days and times, um, ash scattering and having the social distancing. Mm -hmm. What a special way to be able to take mm -hmm. um, to 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 do Honor that. Honor somebody, right? You guys just enjoy yeah. this so much. This isn't a business. <laughs> this isn't work. We have right? a lot of fun. I right. know why you get. Yeah. And I and it says here that this is to take you into retirement. Right. What a beautiful segue. Way, right there's yeah. no retirement I mean there no this is so fabulous and yeah we love it we just absolutely love doing what we do and we're looking forward to you know taking it down the line yeah so. you're gonna be that's, very successful that's really well, I'm telling that well, you know I, I was telling them earlier I'm not that big on water but I'll tell you I'm turned on with this because of the relaxation everybody's so cooped up but you can feel safe going out there and mm -hmm. just being on uh, on the water, and you're, cl you know, not that far away from home, right? How far, where do you go, anyway? Well, it just depends. It's going it, to, as I said earlier, it's customized to whatever they want to do. Okay. So we could go as far as 100 miles out, uh -huh. or we could go 20 miles out. Uh -huh. Okay. And it just depends on how they, you know, if, let's say it's a family coming down for their first time experience. Yes. They may only want to do uh, a half a day, and we'll only go 20 miles out. Kind of see how it goes, you know, and then the next time they may want to up it and let's go a full day out. Very and the thing good. about having a family is you feel protected in this boat. It's yes, good. good. You know, good. it's just a big boat. It's great for yes. kids. You feel it's comfort. Great for a family. That's what I noticed yes. when I took a look at that. I go, oh, because I'm kind of funny with little boats, but that one, well, <laughs> you know, you what? got us covered. We're about ready to go ahead and close the segment out. But I'm okay. sorry, you were going to say something. I was just thinking. Um, I was trying to figure out what to get my son and his new bride for a wedding gift. Uh -huh. Aha! And they have everything because it's a second marriage for him, and they're a little older. We're going to talk some more okay. later because be great. I'm just thinking. Ooh, this could be. That Right. That would and be. And so we're getting ready to wrap up. What is your phone number? 813-751-9895. Top Yacht Fishing and Charter. Very I'm good. sold. Let's go. Good. We'll Top be right yacht. back after this. Thanks for joining us.